Uh, welcome everybody to the Houston Alexander podcast and in the building I have Megan. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. Thanks. All right. Got your miles in the building. What's going on? What's up? All right. Got my man Chase in the building. What's happening? All right. And we got Spicoli. What's good, uh, bro? Hey, hey, you know, do you do you know your name is uh ba- is there's a character in the movie? Oh, I based my name off the uh, character. Yeah, uh, yeah, off, off the character in the movie. That's who I was in high school. Oh, oh well, yeah, <laughs> I was that, kid. Hey, that was me. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, do you guys? You guys are artists. You are you you guys are all rap artists except for Megan. Are you? Do you rap? I sing. I do a little bit of kind of hip hop style too. Okay. Well. well okay. We're gonna get to that that hip hop style part. Uh. Um, but hey, Jamaz, why'd you say it like no, that? No, because because uh, because because everyone says hip hop style. Oh, no, we we gonna we gonna get into the hip hop okay, style yeah. because uh, the the you, what do you rap? Do do you rap? She she has okay. She has she, yeah. She, she has there's it. times on some of the songs where she okay do. okay, but but she, but mainly, she mainly sings. sings. Yes, mainly sings. See, see, we gonna get we gonna get right. to that. We gonna we gonna get to right. That. But uh, but now Jamaz, are you you you've been in this community for a long time? And you've been uh, emceeing. You you notice I say emceeing for a long time. Yes. Um. Uh. What do you got going on now? But before we get to the now, uh, how did you begin rapping? Uh, because you you one of the better emcees I've heard in a long time. How did you get? How did you start? Well, probably on the bus. I mean, what you what you mean on the bus? On the bus, uh, going I, to school, oh, right? Uh, going uh, to school, okay. you know. All right, you know. I used to ride the bus with your brother. He always be making me rap, and then you was making me rap. But okay, lot. but but when did you find out that you can rap though? You know, on well, the bus. When I first the rapped, <laughs> the first time I ever rapped, I was like, I'm good. <laughs> what? <laughs> and so you just in your room? Oh, I can rap. I'm good. Yeah, no, like, okay. it happened no, just how like did that. Begin, man. All right, so I'm. On the bus, you know, I'm I'm listening. Got my Walkman, old school Walkman with the tape deck. You know what I mean? Listen to that first Tupac album. Okay. You know what I mean? Just start freestyling. People was like, it's dope. I started having cats, you know, beatbox for so me. I don't I start, know. You just started. You just started rapping yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, like that, for real? That, I'm a phenomenon. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my bad. <laughs> oh. Uh. Woo, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. <laughs> All right, so so hey, on you start on a bus, and all of a all of a sudden you just find out that you could rap. And so when did you actually start, start performing? Hey, hey, no, no, uh, no. Talent, you start like recording? I do talent no. shows at school. Oh no no no! When did you start recording? And when did you start formatting rap songs? All right, uh, two thousand started recording in two thousand. Did uh, some recording with JVC. You remember JVC? Uh, well, the and, audience and Babs. Is not, don't, the audience does not know who JVC is, so well, you're J- going to have to explain JVC who these people are. JVC is a legendary DJ from Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, probably one of the best out there. Dope producer. He he would produce some tracks for me. Use the old school rolling. We uh, sit with the four track and you know do little dub tapes. How'd you, and stuff. How'd you hook up with this legendary DJ? How did you hook up? See again. Uh, he was we, DJ. We're trying to find out right. how you got into all this and you jumping. From this to this, I'm, I'm time, time jumping. Okay, time right. jumping. I'm time jumping. Okay, all right. So all right. you automatically went. You automatically went from the bus to one. I went to the bus to a talent B&B. show. Okay. Bus to a talent show to the club to where uh, JVC. Well, actually, it was uh, Rave. He was DJing, and uh, you remember the raves that we used to go to. You break dance at him and stuff. And then I would kind of freestyle over some of his stuff. And then he started making, you know, uh, actual tracks. You know, we try to make. Drum and bass tracks ourselves. So, uh, so after you find out that you could rap, then you started doing talent shows. Yeah, like like a lot of people do. Yes. And then uh, JVC was at one of these shows that you just happened to do. Right. Right. right? Yep. So And then that's when y'all hooked up. Yes. That is when. Well, I don't know why you're rolling me, but that's. I'm rolling you so you can. Keep <laughs> 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 See, I'm rolling you so you can keep talking. Well, I'm just I'm <laughs> telling this story. <laughs> God so we, we started we started recording. Oh, uh, hold up, hold on for a second, man. Hold up, oh, oh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Fair Fine enough. Play for excessive Fair bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to find out where it all began and where and where you at now. So JVC, yeah. So we would do. Uh, we started rolling. doing. Right, we start. We're rolling. Yeah, we're rolling. Uh, we started doing raves and uh, you know a different. Uh, like hip hop shows like that, you know, people would throw. Uh, I can't remember his uh, name or Carl Washington. Okay, yeah, uh, Carl, Carl did a lot of shows back yeah, in the day. So for kids, uh, he would, uh, and that's when I was younger. So I mean, he was 
you know, Royal Court. We'd go and like open up for Royal Court bands. Well, a lot of people don't understand that uh, there there was people back then who were doing the same thing they're doing now. Corla, but we don't we don't we don't have then we didn't have the internet back then. Right, right. We, we all we had was flyers and radio. Yeah, and that's it. So yeah. you you know you started you was one of those MC that started uh uh from the, from the ground up. Yeah, right? yeah. We'd make our own flyers. We go to we go to different spots and pass them out to people and go. You know, put them on windshields of cars and get kicked out of parking lots at, you know, at clubs and stuff. And, you know, that's how we'd get our name out there to, you know, for people to hear us. And then it just started progressing more. I started working with a few national artists and stuff. And yeah. then, you know. Uh, who, are, who are some of the people you worked with nationally? Uh, Capadonna from Wu-Tang Clan. Uh, Sid Wilson from Slipknot. You know, Sid. And, uh, who else? Tech Nine. I've done stuff with him. And, well, let me ask you this: um, What does what you what do you think the uh, difference from uh, back then to now with the culture itself? Um, so I don't that I oh, I always hate that question. And, uh, you, yeah, because you you you, you don't want to you don't want to bash right right. I don't want to feel like I'm one of you don't yeah, want you don't want to do that guy or anything. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. But you know. but what do you, what do you think the difference between again the culture then and the culture now as far as rap music well, goes? Talk about this all the time. Yeah, like I I really feel like. You know, back then, there it would separate people that had a real passion to yeah. do it than the convenience of doing it nowadays. Like, mm-hmm. it's kind of like, it's real easy for someone just to record some, go on the, you know, put it on YouTube and do do all that. Yeah. When you had to, like, literally, you know, like, I, I can remember us going and renting a bunch of equipment and putting it in the back of the skate shop and recording in the skate shop on reel-to-reels. And, like, you had to really, like... You had to put some, you yeah, had to put some effort, effort into and time back then, into right? It. Yeah. It feels exploited right now like it's what it feels like it feels like there's people taking advantage of you know all of the talent like we were saying earlier all the talent that we have here you know locally it's almost saturated with it to the point where you have people that want to capitalize on that so okay. you have like 20 so you people think, on so a you show think, uh, you, so you think 20, people you think people are tr- just kind of trying to capitalize on the music because they see other people doing it and they think they can do it, correct? Maybe a little bit, yeah. And then they see an opportunity to make some money too. You know, like mm. you have these people. There's so many, and I'm like, I'm not trying to bash somebody either. But there's so many people out there right now who it's not call bashing. Themselves, it's, it's critiquing. You know? yeah, yeah, I think so, and it needs to be said too. But you know, there's there's a lot of people out there right now who would call themselves a, you know, a what is it, marketing or an agency right. or a right. you know a production company, a producer or something. But I don't know how much they're really doing besides just. Taking a bunch of people and putting them on a show and okay. making money well, that off we're, it, you know? we're gonna get we're gonna get to that part. So, okay. but let's finish finish with what you were saying about getting equipment, doing and what what was the process after that? Uh, well, we we uh we'd get the equipment, we'd mm-hmm. record. Uh, after we'd record, we'd this is back when you know it'd be tapes and CDs. Well, yeah. So we'd have to like send some out maybe to like media services or something, and then they would press up the vinyl. So, and you, press so you had to send out the music. You had to send out yeah. the music to make it sound good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it would okay. be and it would be on to, you know, like it would actually be on the like look like film. Mm-hmm. The. Uh, you know, like a film reel, it almost would look like we put it on the from the reel to reel or whatever. So, so what you're basically saying is that all the effort that you put into it, uh, you, you you had to have the passion to do all that, right? And to send it out to another company yeah. for it to come back to you. Yeah. Now, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then we, you know, we'd lug our we'd lug our CDs, records, and everything around, go to shows, and try to sell them to people. And but here, here but here's why I say about the new era, you know. They don't have to do that now. No. You know, you can go and record, and with the computer software and all the things they have now, it makes it easier to put out yeah. product. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to send it out right. any place. You can, you can, you can actually upload do it. it. You can upload it and do it here. So so is that some of the difference? Again, it's a gift and a curse. Yeah. No, because you, you get a lot of publicity and stuff from this. You know, nowadays, it's a lot easier to get your music out, a lot easier to be heard. You know, if you are- Are you I, jealous? I, are you jealous? No, not really. Not like I mean. All right, listen, listen. I got to add this. Are you? I don't want to. I don't want to date myself. I don't want to date myself. But sometimes I do feel like, well, been my day. Yeah, been you know, my day. You know, we yeah, had to yeah, yeah. walk five miles in the snow just to record a song. You know, like I don't want to be like that. But sometimes I do. I'm like, it's so easy for you to do it, and now you're, oh, yo, I got a song on YouTube. I got a song on you know iTunes, and it's like. Man, it, I remember it was it, it was it would be we would be so happy if it, if Homer's was like we're gonna sell your your tape. Yeah, 
You yeah. know what I mean? And that are would you, be you, are, a big are you talking accomplishment. about that ancient place where they used to sell music? Right, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. my bad. My you know, bad. You, you're like, if you get if you get your stuff up into Sam Goody or something, that was like a, a, an achievement mm-hmm. to do something like that, you know, especially for hip-hop. Because hip-hop so was kids, some- uh, just, just, just to remind you, kids, uh, Sam Goody, <laughs> Homers, stuff like that. This is where, where old-timey PD people would go and buy music. We would go okay? and buy our music <laughs> on these plaques. <laughs> and we'd bring the plaques home and... <laughs> Sometimes we scratch the plaque and then we can never listen to it again. Well, hey, well, uh, I'm gonna be, uh, I remember when you uh, when I first heard you rhyming, and, uh, and you were probably one of the best freestylers I, I've, I've heard in a long time. Well, thank uh, you, sir. And when I say freestyle, you you know that that's when you can when you can put together rhymes uh, off off top like how you you did. Freestyle and, and, is something different now. It means something different though. Well, well no, it still means the same, but it, people are just formatting it different. Okay, but but from from when I heard you, uh, and then when I first heard you uh, formatting songs, I, I thought it was a real step up. So so now, um, how did how did your wife coming into your your career and coming into your situation? How did she come around? Well, we actually were we were doing music before that the the wife thing happened later. Okay. Uh, but we were so we were already doing. You know, she. So you kinda, guys were already friends already. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we. I mean, it, it was such a natural. I've worked with so many people, but like, it's so natural when we do stuff. Like, you know what? You know what's natural? <laughs> Norman in the live feed <laughs> showing off his muscles. You know that, that's that's normal. That's always normal. Yeah, you know, it's it's always normal. It's acceptable. It, yeah, yeah, it's always normal. You know, especially when you're doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> See a grown man get up, start flexing. You know, <laughs> I thought this was a no flex song. Where's that whistle at? Where's the whistle? Where's the whistle at? <laughs> Norman, it's a no flex song, dog. <laughs> but, 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 but continue. Yeah. Why, please continue, sir. So, I mean, we started here. I'll let her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. So, so yeah, we, we did kind of just like start off that way. We would talk about music all the time. Um, and then it was a really natural thing for us. And now, well, hold on, like, man, I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta stop you right there, Megan. What do you do? Okay, so yeah, yeah let's, let's, let's let the audience know what do you do? What is your qualifications? So just to start with, my background and my influences are very much, um, I would say, punk rock, metal, hard rock. That that's where I'm coming from. Like okay. I, I really don't have a whole lot uh, of history uh, there, well, in the hip hop uh, community. A uh, different, a uh, different genre of music. Yes, All very right. much. And so when we come together and do music, there is, um, it's very eclectic because I would say um, when somebody asks us to define our sound or what we do, it's, it's kind of hard really to say because there's a lot of electronic. It's definitely like electronic. Um, but then you have a, the hip hip hop. Well, how, how about from we just go? Side. You guys are multi musical. We are, yeah. I would well, say there so. There you go. Yeah. You, yeah. Hey, you, I better copyright that before y'all take that. Huh? Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you should, because I've always had a problem with like genres, like saying something is like this or something is like that, especially when it's so easy to mold different types of music together. Yeah. It's like I think you kind of pigeonhole yourself. So what you're saying life. is music is music. Music and is music. And if it sounds good, because in this day and age, a lot of people are listening to a little bit of everything. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Which is cool. So that is that what you you're, you're basically saying? Yeah, I mean you can hear you can hear a country song and but you can hear it on a pop station. It hey, could be a pop song. Oh, you know. Yeah. Or is it hip hop? Or is it? You know, is it country hip hop? Is it what do you how do you how do you cl- like try to be so specific in explaining something that's so, you know, so many different things? Music, right. music, and I music think is lo- music. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, I think, make the mistake of pigeonholing themselves, you know, where yeah. they could really branch out and, and get outside the box, you know. And I think that's what's cool about us. You know uh, who was really good? I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. Who, are really, who was really good at doing that? CeeLo. CeeLo, he, he, sure. CeeLo, CeeLo, he, you know, he couldn't go from R&B to rock to pop. He, he was he was a prime example of what you guys were talking about. All right. Yeah. Now, uh, speaking of. Outcast too. Even yeah, more, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, but speaking of speaking of uh, prime example, <clears throat> all the way up from Lincoln, uh, Spicoli. All right. Spicoli and my man Chase. What's happening with y'all, man? Yeah. Y'all what's want, good? What's yeah. good? What's now, good? Uh, now, we. Spoke at the beginning that you know you got your name from a movie. Is that your real name? My real name is not Spicoli. That's not, not my government. You you just this got it from the I movie. You just got yeah, it from the movie. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Basically, when I saw that movie and I saw who the character was, 
I just kind of like. Well, somebody I was like, that smokes weed. Myself, like, yeah. Someone, somebody that smokes yeah. weed. I ordered care. pizza to school and shit like that. Like, yeah, I did all that. So like, <laughs> you did all that in school. I did all that in high school. I was just you, like, you, you know, know, I'm just there because I wasn't there to like get an education. You know, I was you, just going to school. Okay, you know, you know, your, you know, your mom is going to want to see this podcast. My right? mom knows. <laughs> <laughs> We've had this discussion already. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, where did your, where did your story begin? No, what, what are you doing, uh, for, for rap? I'm assuming rap, right? Uh, yeah, mostly that I work with is hip hop artists. Uh, there's a couple singers that I'm trying to get working with, okay. um, but mostly it's just uh, rappers, mostly. Okay, you're not uh, a stri- you're not a stripper. No, I put that. Uh, on. Grown. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's the old me. <laughs> it's all <old> me. <laughs> You've grown, no pun intended. <laughs> that was, been so is, is this something you started? You got to do. You have a label. You started in Lincoln. This is where this is coming from. So basically, me and my brother here, we uh, linked up in high school. We were just best friends, and then uh, as we were getting into it, uh, we just started buying keyboards programs computers and stuff and i just have so to you guys, so you guys do music yeah okay i do i do a lot of the beats i do a lot of beat making and stuff like that production side and uh basically just over the years i've just been getting more equipment getting new ideas and just upping my game mm-hmm. and trying to get the more business aspect of it you know networking and just getting my name out there and so uh, in in, in, in in l-town lincoln right yes sir all right now what now, uh, Chase, where do you come into this? He, he brought you in and said that he was, he was a partner. So, you, but you from Kansas City? How'd you end up in Lincoln, man? Man, that is a long story. See what happened. Oh, uh, give, give me the cliff notes, man. We, <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> See what had happened was I was born in Lincoln. All right, but but I moved to Kansas City when I was three, and I just grew up there. Okay, and then when I was what, four, uh, fourteen? Okay. Uh, my dad was like, well, we're going back to Lincoln. I was like, really? And then <laughs> so back we're gonna here. Go, we're going to go from a bigger city to a smaller city, Lincoln, Nebraska. Yep. That's how that happened. All right. So so how, how did you hook up with Spicoli, man? And, and why did y'all decide to do music together? That is a great question because I don't even remember. Right. It was just one you day. You smoke weed too? I used to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because of this guy right here. <laughs> You were, you were, you were, you were uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I don't remember. We don't remember how y'all got together. Uh, why y'all got together? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, but, man. All right. I don't know if he's good. I don't know. Is give he? Me, are you sure he's me. a good person for you? <laughs> <laughs> he's got you give doing mad business. Give me the cliff like. notice. Or something. All right. But well, um, um, we linked up through a friend okay. and uh. What we do is we would be in uh, basketball tournaments. And what would happen was before a tournament, we would smoke a lot before we go to the tournament. And <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we, okay, we, uh, okay. And um, <laughs> like a homeboy would always turn on some <laughs> some beats. Okay. And then we all just start uh, freestyling. Hold on, was y'all blazing before basketball tournaments? Yeah, <laughs> and dodgeball, basketball, and dodgeball. Uh, oh, okay, <laughs> oh, okay. We never uh, won uh, <laughs> or any sporting event. <laughs> so, so <clears throat> pretty much that's how that started. But then, like, um, I was about sixteen, seventeen. Okay. Um, it would be me, m- my foster brothers, like in the house cleaning up the house. Okay. And what we do is we would go on YouTube. When YouTube first started, YouTube. Oh, way oh, back then. Oh, <laughs> way back then. Oh, yeah, okay. Way. <laughs> we would um just put on beats and freestyle and have like uh competitions, and I would always end up being second. Okay, when did you notice that you could rap? Okay, did was you on a bus too, like the miles? Nope, I was in the house cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Mama made us uh, clean up the house. <laughs> okay, like. My whole goal was to to win, but I couldn't win because my brother he was good, he okay, was really good. So my goal was at least be second best, at least be second. Okay. So that's how um, I found that out. But then like, about what four years later, um, some what happened? But um, okay, um, this is uh, just the weed. Yeah, yeah it's, bring it, bring it, bring it. It's, 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 it's okay. It. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing, but yeah. Um, like uh, me and my cousins would be at house parties. Mm-hmm. You know? They always be a uh, freestyle. They always have to call me over to freestyle. Oh, always, always you. Yeah, it was always, always me. Always you. Okay. Don't know why, but <laughs> well, maybe because you were good. Yeah. At the time, I was beating myself up, so I didn't think I was good. Everyone else said I was good, but I was like, no, yeah, 
y'all lying. Good. I'm not that good. <laughs> you were good enough. <laughs> Apparently. All right. All right. So now, now after after you decided, and and after people noticed that you were rapping, you guys decided just to get together. That what what was that process, man? So basically, we were uh, living together, and oh, y'all was living together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was my he was my roommate. So like, <laughs> oh, y'all was roommate. So, okay, okay. Uh, okay, <laughs> all right. And then clear it up. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, but no, basically, like as I was getting my music going, like okay. perfecting my sound, just trying to figure out who I was as a producer. Um, and you didn't MC, you just did music. Absolutely. Okay. I, all right. I, I mean, I did poetry and shit, but I never rapped on a beat or anything. All right. But uh. Yeah, as I was getting my sounds out, he would obviously be in the house listening to my shit. Because because, because start, y'all were good friends, y'all were good yeah, friends. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and uh, he would just start rapping on it, and eventually it was like, you know, we just do this for fun. We have jobs, you know, we're raising our families and shit. We can do this music on the side also. Yeah, like, and we've just been taking it more seriously and more seriously. As because you know, I do, I do think it, it starts off as a hobby. You know, it's oh, something, it's something you figure so. that you could do, but when it, but when you know notice that you're really good at it, you that's when you start paying more attention to it. And putting more into it, right? So, well, I learned that if you're good at something, make money off of it. May, may, you right. And make money. That's easy. When it comes when it comes easy to you, okay. you have a talent like that. So where were you guys now in your career? I'm sorry. Where are you guys now in your career? And and, and why are you here? Why, why are you on this podcast? Are you, are you trying to explain to our, my audience, you know, what what are you doing? What, 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 what's your, what you One learned? of the main things for me is that it's hard to build a local audience. It's easier to build an audience outside of your hometown, is what I found out. And and that's crazy. It's, it's, but it's, but it's hard it's really in your weird. own. You got to earn the respect of people in your own hometown. Yeah, absolutely. Almost, right? Yep, yep. And there's other artists I work with, and they just go out of town. You know, there's at least like five artists that I know that are from Lincoln or Omaha mm -hmm. that have moved out, and they've just been super successful. Oh, like Screwface. That's my, that's my guy, actually. Right, yeah, yeah. That's that's Screwface. Hey, I, I was one of the first ones to play Screwface on on the radio. So yeah, I, I think I was I, I was there the day that he told me that actually. That's crazy. Yeah, so that's crazy. so now again, where are you trying to take what you're doing, with you and you and Chase? Basically, I'm just trying to network. I'm trying to get networking with a bunch of different artists. I'm trying to do music instead of working for other people. Like yeah. I want to make my own. I've had a cleaning company and my own stuff that I was doing, and it, that's ten times better than going to work for somebody else. Yeah, well, working for so, yourself is always good. Yeah, huh? so I'm trying to do that with my music. Like, I want to be able to make enough money that I can provide for me and my kids and also not have to worry about 40, 50 years down the road. Yeah. So I'm just trying to build on top of that. Exactly. So then that go, that turns me to this this man over here who's been doing it for a very long time. Um, Maz, what are you doing now? What are you doing with yourself and with you and your work you and, you and make it? Uh, we are – we just uh, finished recording – um, an album uh, with Alfonso from Icon One. Okay. Uh, so who, uh, who I I definitely hate. Fonzo, why? Fon Fonzo, if you're watching this podcast, I I really do hate you. Happy <laughs> <laughs> kind of birthday too! Happy late birthday, Alfonso. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Uh, Awkward. Uh, <laughs> I do really hate you, Papa. <laughs> so yeah, with with the Negro you love to hate, we have we just finished we just finished the album with him, right. um, and that will be out soon. And I'm in currently lining up some out of out of uh, you know out of state shows. Okay, and, uh, some, out of state and in state. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, some of some of the groups some of the groups that you guys used to work with before. You know, let, let let people know because I know you 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 you've worked with a few groups and you work with a few producers. Uh, please let them know who 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 that is. Uh, locally because, or not? Yeah, let it be locally. Well, you mentioned some of the people you work with nationally, but who are some of the people you started off with and worked with locally? Uh, so you know, uh, DJ e Babs, Mars Black. Um, yeah, I I, I hate e Babs too. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's yeah fuck him. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, Shorty, Shorty, uh, you. I've done stuff with you. Okay. You've DJ for me a few times. Um, uh, bright eyes in the faint, like just not in just hip hop. You know? Okay, what group group names? Any group names you were in? Come on now, come on. Uh, Angel of Dirty Faces, uh, Evil yeah. Squad. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. you know AP, Surreal, uh, Noise Wave. You know, worked with them. Big so, dog. Man, so you have you really have a foothold in in, in 
our hip hop culture here, here in Nebraska. Yes. So, and you you have for a very long time. Yes. Megan, what what are some of the things that you were doing outside of uh, Jamaz? You know, honestly, I've been doing music since. Uh, that's uh, that's, outside that's of about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh, no, that, that's a legit question. Outside, that's a legit question. Oh, I've, oh, I've, oh, been, oh, I've been oh, singing. Say, hey, says the big I've dude been... who's all in my my, my Facebook live. Uh, Flag on the plate. All right. Now, but what ha- what are some of the things musically you've been doing outside of Jamal? I mean, honestly, I've been singing since I could sing. You know what I mean? Since okay. I was little, I've been writing songs. That that's my my big thing is I write my own. And you say you did punk rock. Lyric. You said you did like punk rock. You yeah. Did t- yeah. You know, but, I, I was in I was in the scene, but honestly, I've never I've never done anything like this before. As far as playing shows, mm-hmm. um, doing my own original music like this, I've played in front of my church. I've played. You know what I mean? But. Um, I also play a little it bit of guitar. Always starts at the church. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that, so. and, and thus, you came in with the Jesus shoes. Starts That's at, right. It's appropriate. <laughs> it's appropriate. So. We started at the church, and yeah. So you know, um, I, I mean, I, I've sang. You ever gotten a, into a girl group? You ever, you, you ever gotten into I a band? I just dabbled. Or, uh, you just garage dabbled. style, uh-huh. you know. I mean, in my basement, you know, stuff like that. So uh-huh. nothing that's. That's been um, what we're doing, but I've also never found anybody to partner with like we have, to where it, there's such a synergy, you know, where we just so naturally. So it just do what we to do. Be, you just happen to have synergy with your husband. It's, right, I know, I isn't see? that crazy how that worked out? Go, go figure that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's all, it all, it all, you know, ties together. You know, like um, on a relationship level and a music level, it's all, you know, uh. it's. We couldn't have one without the other. I okay, don't so think, Jamal, you, know? you better make this work. <laughs> you better make this. I work. know that'd be a, a double. You know, two things. No out, pressure. Like, no pressure. <laughs> career and relationship all down the same no drain. Pr- <laughs> 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 damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Walk, <laughs> walking okay, with the okay. stick in the little bag. You took chances. All right, so 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 <laughs> where where do, <laughs> where do you guys go from here? Then with, with your with your with your whole career, and yeah, you got you got the project coming out. But where do you guys go from here? Are you are you planning on leaving Omaha? You are you planning on expanding in Omaha? What are you planning on doing right now? I think, you know, we're, we're open to going wherever things take us, but this today is just one, one way to get ourselves out there to get Mm -hmm. a little more visible. You know, um, that's something that we definitely want to do, uh, for us, it's, it's about the music and that's always got to take priority, but, um, you know, we, we value our fans and, um, playing live music, Mm -hmm. you know, performing that's, that's, there's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Say, but hold on. With the particular music that Jamaz has always come out with, everyone's called you weird. All right, everybody, everybody called you weird or uh, they're but, right. They're only, but, uh, well, <laughs> your wife is co-signed, but no, but uh, it's it's only because you just dabbled into different types of genres of music, right? That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, I like to. Uh, I don't like to pigeonhole myself, and I don't like you know. And I think that's another reason why we work so good together. Is, so you kind of weird, but you just no. I'm weird. weird. You're, you're a weird genius. No, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'd, I'd rather go with that. Yeah, I'm awkward. I'm <laughs> awkward. Let's go, let's well, go yeah, with I was that. awkward. I'm awkward. Uh, but uh, you know, when we're doing stuff, He's weird, awkward, she, and I'm weird, cool. Yeah, oh, okay. and she okay. she right. brings the other genres okay. to you know with like her ideas and what she influences me on. So it's Megan. Do you play? Me? Do you play? Yes. Okay. I, yeah, I do. I play guitar as well. Um, that's something that we've just recently started to incorporate into our music. It's not on this this album that we just made, but we're starting to. Again, you know, that's where we incorporate so many different elements. Mm-hmm. Like we're open to. We, we've talked about like maybe adding like a a banjo or a saxophone, or <laughs> just so, whatever. You know, like <laughs> just anything, anything oh, to make it like, different. Oh, ban- banjo. <laughs> Did have to, uh, <laughs> oh, I touched a banjo. Oh, uh, okay, not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, it, okay. it, it, it strong considerations on that. That's <laughs> we're looking for a banjo player. Is what we're trying to say. All right, uh, uh, fellas, uh, are you playing banjos in Lincoln? <laughs> I've considered it. Uh, ban- banjos in Lincoln. Uh. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now, um, where do you guys all plan on, besides being on the podcast here, where, where do you guys plan on taking music, especially from that Lincoln area? Because it's really tough. Cause, you know, because Omaha is, you know, a little bigger than Lincoln, but it's no better, you know, trying to get that promotion out of there, man. So how? What do you? What, what's your next step in Lincoln? What is, what's the next step? 
<laughs> put her foot down. Like, oh, well, <laughs> put her foot down in Lincoln and then uh-huh. go from there. Because uh-huh. cause right now, like we have fans across the country. Okay. Even some in the UK, shockingly. <laughs> Be like, we like the guys from Omaha <laughs> or Lincoln. <laughs> so, so pretty much, like, if we can build up Lincoln and then bring the artists there together and okay. actually make good music. I think, you know, but I think if you, no matter what part of the world you're in, if you're making good music, people are going to find you. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to actually get exploited by by those people who are, who are looking for good music. So, you know, you guys just want to do good good music and, and take it from there, huh? So, yeah, how can people get in touch with you guys uh, to to see to see what you got uh, got going out right now? I'm sorry, what type of projects you guys got coming out? And how can people hear your music? Pretty much anywhere you can find music. Spotify, okay, right, okay. IG, a, a, anywhere. And, and and what is the name? What is going to be the name that they'll be looking for? The project or just the, no no the pro the project or you know what what do they look for what what are people looking for when it comes to to you guys either just look up Spicoli Chase Summit or Grime Time that's okay the they, what, what's the name of is that the name of the label the name of the entertainment company See, the that's name what I'm trying, the, I'm just the name trying of, to get yeah, to yeah. Like, the name let's of the get label to that is Money name Family of, okay uh, basically the way okay, we came up with that uh, name of the label the name of okay, the label how people can can get yeah, in touch yeah. with you. Etc. Etc. And go. <laughs> go. I got you. I got you. <laughs> go. um, so Money Family is just the the abbreviations for Missouri and Nebraska. Okay. We just put it together. It's Money Family. Okay. So that's who we are. That's our music style and stuff like that. So we're just trying to build our foundation here, but also want to build a presence in like Kansas City, like Iowa, Kansas. There's places all over that. So you want to expand in the Midwest? Yeah. Basically. basically. Okay. Yeah. And go on a national platform you know you can well, always you are find already us. on a national platform when, when you're putting out music internationally to right, me, that's, right, right. that's a national platform and but you when you say national platform what are you trying are you trying to get recognized in a, in a certain way what to me i want to get recognized by big like record label groups okay like atlantic or whatever interscope and stuff would like you, that. would you would you take a I record just, deal or would you take a production deal which are, a, for e- me personally either one, either one huh? it depends on the terms really like okay. yeah. It all depends on how much I'm going to make, how much rights I have to my own music and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it's all negotiable. It's whatever. But as long as I'm able to network with people and people know my name and my brand, okay. that's just my overall goal. Well, okay. Well, then uh, how can people get in touch with you, Spicoli, from the movie? I mean, Spicoli's all over. I'm on Snapchat. I'm on well, Facebook. The, 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 the white guy with the blonde hair is all over the place, too. But he I- is all over the place. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the problem that's with the a lot of my movie. YouTube videos. <laughs> a lot of my YouTube videos, if you type in Spicoli, it's just like real film, real film, real film. And it's like, okay, Spicoli's down here. I'm working my way up. Dope. But, you know, you'll see me on their YouTube. Okay. So I got my beats and stuff. We have our own website. It's moneyfamily.com. Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. We have email address. So people, if people want to get beats, so they, if can you get, want- they can get people. They yeah, get beats from oh, you from, through the website, right? Yep, and my right. contact information is all over there. Chase's contacts, it's all over there. Okay. So moneyfamily.com is where it's all at. So, so Chase, same thing with you. What, 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 what are your plans? All right? What, what are the plans, man? Plans is to quit this 9 to 5 and start making music <laughs> every day and get paid off that. Okay, you just want to get paid off what you're doing. Yeah. Cause, or, off your, cause, your merits. Because I love music. I've always loved music, and... Why not get paid doing it? Mm-hmm. Why not get paid doing like, it? Like, I grew up playing the saxophone and and, and, so you do and, band and everything, so it's like, why not? You know, a lot of a lot of people that are putting music out now can't read music. Can you, can you So, can you guys read music? Yeah, absolutely. I played uh, violin and piano when I was growing up, and then I taught myself guitar. And I taught myself two-handed piano, because one-handed piano is much fucking easier than two-handed piano. See? And it takes a lot of practice to get hey, the man, two. For hey. me, anyway. Yeah. For me, it took a long time. But 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 a lot of it, you know, a lot of people aren't, they, they don't play instruments. But but it's, it's crazy, man. All right? It's always been that way. So uh, what's the website? What's the website? Um, Again, what's the email? Um, How do people get in touch with you? Do that right now. It's moneyfam.com. Don't put the Y because you're going to get really upset. And the email is... uh. Mm-hmm. Money family, I think it's i29 at gmail.com. Okay. And hashtag we look like twins. Yes, sir. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Man, I did not. I did not. I'm get the, the better memo. looking twin. I did not. I did not get the memo about wearing black 
shirts with the black hat. My bad. I, I would have wore. I would have wore mine. All right. But we could get you a money fan hat. <laughs> you didn't bring nothing up here. So that, that, just man, come on, man. <laughs> but and, and, you didn't send a text. Oh man, come on, man. But uh, I'm, I was waiting for y'all. But anyway, uh, Maz, where? What's what's the name of the project? How can people get in touch with you for for shows and stuff like that? And uh, what do you plan on again? Plan right, on so, taking your career. So um, it's M3. And you can go to uh, M3 Universe on Instagram or Facebook. Okay. Uh, uh, on Facebook, it's M- at M Cubed Universe. And it's M like the letter M and then the number three. Yeah. That's how. Yeah, that's what how. She, it. What she said. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can also, on, on that page, you have like, you know, upcoming shows. Uh, we have some music on there. You can also go to um, on YouTube. Oh, uh, do you guys have merch? A lot of people, a lot of people are, are, are putting out merch right now. Yeah, you know, uh, well, with their, yeah, with their brand. We have we have our logo. We have all that together. So we just need to actually initiate getting the merch. But we will have merch. Uh, we'll have uh, physical copies of CDs to purchase, and also you'll be able to get them on Amazon and all. You know, no doubt. Uh, and all that. Spicoli, uh you guys, you have, do you have uh, merch? You guys have merch also? Uh, we have hats. Uh, we're working on getting shirts and stuff like that. We're actually thinking about doing our own presses and shit like that. Okay. So we're trying to build our own press and then just learn that part of it. Okay. So uh, Miles, so finish up. I'm sorry to mean to cut you off, but what um just what it, what are uh, you planning you can, on right now? Yeah. Well, right now uh, we have. You can go to YouTube and look up M3, and we have some actual live video of some of uh, the some performances, performances that yeah. we've done, which is which is really real important. Yeah. yeah. So uh, and they some of them were out of uh, out of state, some of them were here. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, you'll be able to check that out, and then we always update our page so you'll know when you know uh, we have new music coming out and when we do yeah upcoming shows. So okay. So um, you know I can't ha- have you get out of here without spit. All right, you 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 know it. So, but since since you're the elder in the uh, room, uh, I'm gonna go to the youngster. I, I'm gonna go to the youngster over here to see. Uh, yeah, man, uh, yeah, you gotta get you like gotta give the, the hey, you have night. to give these people you uh, you gotta give these people a reason to go to go to go to these sites. All right, to, and, and to me, as a real artist, hey, if it's in you, it's in you, right? That's how I am. everybody's like, oh yeah, damn. I gotta spit. Oh damn! But we gonna we know just uh, give these people reason to uh, to go to that site. So Chase, I, I know you ready, right? I know. Hey, hey, yeah. Hey, bring, bring bring the mic. Bring the mic down, man. Hey, bring the yeah, bring it down. All right, man. Hey, get hey, give him a give him a sixteen, brother. Give him a sixteen. 16. Give him a reason to okay. go to your site. All right, all right. Let's go. Okay. Don't take too long now. <laughs> Come on, son. I'm a man that's on a mission. Finger fuck the competition. I ain't got no time to waste, man. I'm... Run that back. Right. <laughs> you, right there. you right, go ahead. Ready? I'm a man that's on a mission. Finger fuck the competition. I ain't got no time to waste, man. Fuck, I'm already 28. Ugh. High metabolism, eating everything that's on my plate. Okay, all right, all right. We'll say, all right, now, this is this when we got to go to the veteran. All right, Demise, as long as I've been knowing you, you better not fuck this up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pressure. All right, hey, hey, spit, man, spit. All right, all right. Uh, in between me and my queen, an AR-15 sit with a full magazine clip, focusing on the targets, planning to make a hit, photographers taking pics of artists, painting portraits of artists, painting images of me choosing targets. All right, all right. But the, again, I mean, uh, I know, hey man, it's on you. That's that's you, all right? Because hey, you again. <laughs> I always love hearing your rhyme. Keep keep it going. All right, uh, let's let's uh, come on, man. Let's let's, on. Do, let's do topic. Spit. Let's spit. do topic stuff. Spit. Okay. All right. Uh, the CBAs they were hot for a minute until Mike murdered opposite than opposite bitch. The Mike left now. No one knows who opposite is. All right, well, that was personal. Then that's okay. Well, you know what? Right, man. Seems I like everyone's smoking a lot of weed today. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. But you know what? I appreciate you guys coming in. Um, Megan, appreciate you coming in. Maz, I appreciate you coming in. All right. I appreciate you having me. Nah, it's not. It's nothing. Oh, Spicoli, like the guy in, the, in uh, Richmond High. That that that. We appreciate. Yes, sir. Appreciate you coming in. Appreciate it, bro. Yes, sir. Um, Chase, appreciate you coming in too, bro. Yeah, appreciate it. All right. Uh, if you want to get on uh, the Houston Alexander podcast, please email me at hAlexanderOmaha at gmail.com. And we are out of here.